dear students in this video we are going to discuss about class diagram go to model click add diagram and select class diagram so then just you change the name of your file as class diagram and you can add the author details i am going to type dr k sudha and you can add company details copyright information and version details as a company i am going to type as srm st ramabram and there is no copyright i mentioned here and version i mentioned as 1.0 then now we are going to add the title just to go to the annotations and select text box and whatever the title you wish to add for your diagram just you can type it over here now i am going to show you that the students information management system you can even use a text or text box to type your title of your exercise right then you can change the font size you can you can increase the font size or decrease the font size and you can change the font style uh, color uh, line styles format there are lot of options is available in the editor window now i change the background color uh, as green then i am going to start the class that first class is as a students information management system that first class i defined as a student and we can add the list of attributes for the student class as a student is a register number the data type of the student register number is a number and followed by a student name it's based on uh, your exercise you can add the list of attributes for your class the next attribute is a student class as a string data type the next one it's a student section even students section it's also a string so the data type as per the the list of attributes whatever we are defining you can add it and the next one it's a student branch so once all the the list of attributes it's defined then you can add the list of attributes that first operation it's a add student and the next method or operation is update student and even we can add few more operations it's a display students that is it's a display student information and even we can delete the student record that the delete student is the next operation the next step by default all the the list of attributes and operations the visibility control is it's a bubbly and the next stage we can change it either private or protected or even we can make it as bubbly now i am going to change that the student class section and branch as private student list number and the name we can use it for another class so just i use it as public so the next one the next class for that the student class the student mark details for the student mark details i am going to add uh, the list of subject it's a subject a number 1 it's a integer and subject number 2 then subject number 3 and here i missed 
uh, that student register number and the name uh, for that student mark class also we have to add the student register number and name it's a uh, followed by subject details right so the next one it's uh, to add the subject we have to update the subject even uh, for each semester if that the subject detail if it is changing it means we have to update that subject details and once the updation is over we have to display the list of subject and even we can delete the subject so totally four operations i mentioned here and it's a followed by that the mark whatever we are displaying just i am going to make it as private and uh, this information which is added in that a uh, student mark class so the next class student uh, fee payment details uh, that's uh, the next class i mentioned here and for the students uh, fees details here whatever i mean that is missed in the students mock details here i am going to use the student register number as a number a data type and student name so even whenever we are entering student mock or students fee de fee details or any other details that the essential uh, the attribute which we have to repeat it all the classes that first one is student register number and it's followed by student name the next one as a student fees details just i make it as the data type is float and i am going to add the list of operations for the students fee class it's add payment update payment and i have to show that uh, the payment informations in that the portal so display payment and the last one it's the cancel payment and this is the third class and i am going to change the the student register number and name as predictor so the reason is if i want to call that student register number and name in that super class to sub class i have to make it as predictor and even in the the sub class we can make the changes in that form of private no need to again uh, use it as a protected mode the base class always should be as protected and the child class we can make it as either private or public it's based on your uh, that the details whatever you are entering into your class so the next class is a student placement and for the student placement i am going to add again a student register number and student name is the next essential or uh, that attribute which we have to define it for student placement class and it's a uh, followed by we have to add that information related to that placement so the company a uh, name it's the next attribute so which company the student is placed and the company address and the next one it's a company phone number or uh, the contact number it's an extra attribute i mentioned here and that list of operations uh for the student uh, placement it's a salary details it's a first operation the salary or uh, details i mentioned as a float so it's not is yes, uh, salary details as your attributes and uh, for the uh, the placement class i am going to add the list of operations it's add company update company display that information the company information which company the student is placed 
and even we can uh, delete the uh, details or delete the company details so that's uh, the lost operations i mentioned here and now totally we have created four classes the first one it's a student second one is a student mark and third one is the student's fees details and it's a followed by student placement now we have to create that uh, the relationship between each classes so we have different uh, the relationship it's available now i am going to use the association for the student and the student fee class even you can use the direct association of for a student and student fee details directly we can mention that association or even directed association it's both are correct and for that uh, the student mark details and it's a followed by student details i am going to use the composition so the reason is as a student mark details cannot execute independently without the student information even i missed that student register number and name but you have to include that two details and for the student and student placement i used as a generalization uh, that's the concept of inheritance the next step we have to add the multiplicity of each class whatever we are representing we have to add the multiplicity for the student it's a one student have one to many subject details or that mark so one for that student side as a one student have one to many marks the same thing for one student have one to many or the fee they have to pay for that even as uh, the tuition fee or book fee so based on that requirement we can add uh, the fee details and for the placement even one student have one to many offer so that's uh, the multiplicity it's a uh, defined that in what way we are going to represent that information into your class the next step for your understanding just i am going to uh, mention that what kind of relationship be used uh, for each class here a student to student more details we used as a composition relationship so that it's strongly depend the student more details so that's why the term i mentioned here as a composition for the student and the student fee details we use the association or even we can use it the direct association between a student and student fees details and for that the student and student placement we used the term which is called as generalization okay so this is the way you can represent the class diagram and this information is useful to all so if still if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment window you always think about that whether that information whatever you placed it's uh, the visibility is correct or wrong you think about that Thank you thanks for watching